Hey everyone, Mike from 1A Auto, 2015 Chevy Silverado. I'm gonna show you how to remove the door panel. If you're gonna be working with the doors open, good idea, uh, this switch right up here shuts off your dome light. Middle position is on with the doors uh, open. Over here is permanently on, and then you can see the lights right here. Shut it off, that way your lights aren't draining the battery while you're working on your door. First, you're gonna to wanna to remove these little doors. There's one here and there's a little indent down at the bottom. You want to use a little 90 degree pick available at 1aauto.com. Pull the bottom of that out and then that panel comes out and then there's another one right down in here. Same thing, there's an indent at the front. Work the pick right in there. Gonna go down first underneath. Pull it up. Now this panel comes off and this one can be a little unnerving. Um, you just have to pull hard and it does release. Sometimes these metal clips will fall into the door, um, but you actually want to retrieve them and you can do it just by kind of squeezing them and prying up with a screwdriver and then down with my finger. And sometimes these will fall down into the door and you just have to wait till you have the door panel off to retrieve them. But you can just push them right back onto the panel so that when you go to reinstall it, they're there. Now six seven millimeter bolts hold it. There's one way back in here, one right up here, two down here, and two at the bottom of the door panel. And I'll remove those. Use a seven millimeter socket with a ratchet and extension. All right, so we've got the six bolts out. This part can be the worst part because now it's just clipped in place, but these clips can really hold on tight sometimes. I just work my hand underneath this corner and then I grab right here and I just give a good pull. Okay, and then there's clips all the way up at the top that release. panel comes off, go up, release your door handle cable by pressing down here and then pulling back, okay, and then work it around, pull it up and out, and then there's a single electrical connector here, push on the black tab while you pull up on the gray tab, okay, and then bring the gray locking tab out and that unlocks. With the door panel off, now we can remove this inside trim panel. There's a little clip here that you can usually pull on. And there's also gonna be a clip there. It's missing on this truck. And the correct tool from 1aauto.com is this little kind of forceps. Pry that out. If you didn't have one of those and you were in a pinch, you could use a flat blade screwdriver, um, but remove those two pins. And then there's a clip behind here that you have to pull firmly and release and basically kind of pull this out and down all the way around. And again, you'd pull that pin out there and that comes off. If you did pull the panel up and off and this weather strip went with the door panel, you're gonna to wanna to remove this piece of weather strip, pull it down and you can see some clips back in there and pry down with a small screwdriver and then pull up to release each clip. And you can see the clips actually come off as we go. If your door lock fell out of place, just put it back up into place. And then these clips slide back down onto the door and the weather strip goes back in place. This part seals against the window. 
Okay, now this piece. So you basically want to kind of get this lip in first. So start it on and you're kind of pushing. I'm pushing with my thumb on the inside first to make sure that that all locks into place. And then up here, just make sure that pushes in and locks. And then you want to push it down, make sure it goes underneath this weather strip for the most part. And then push this pin into place and this pin as well, although it is missing on my truck. And this weather ship strip should really be outside of the bolding. You may just have to kind of work it with your fingers up and around. Now your panel, put the door handle cable on first, put it down in, pull back, around, and then slide it forward into place. And then your connection down here, lift up, put the connection in place, get it going, and then slide or pivot that locking tab up. And there's two larger lineup pins, one here and one on the front here. So just kind of look things into place. Make sure you lift this up. Get your lock into place, down. And then I can see that lineup pin right there. And this front lineup pin there. Okay. And locks in place. Now we're going to put our six seven millimeter screws back in. All right, one was here, one here, two here, and then two down low. This one that we're going to put in here, I'm just going to put a little piece of um, paper towel on there, hold it in place, put it in, start it going and I'll start the rest of them. All right, now we'll tighten those up. And you don't want to get these too tight. Get them nice and firm. And that's good. They're only going into plastic. Panels back in, curves the soft corners at the top. Pushes into place. And then this, the little notch goes in the front. Place. And then this panel, once you've put your clips back on, you're going to put the top up and in and snap it back in place. Thanks for watching. Visit 1AAuto.com, your place for DIY auto repairs, for great parts, great service, and more content.